that's who it's true. Butler has stand on us. I hope my hunch was wrong. You knew him well? Not as well as I thought. Show me the report. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He's killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. It will be done. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Trust me. Everything I do is to protect our interests. Now, if you're happy, I have more work to do. Researcher Minet wishes to verify. cannot remain ambassador. If you can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the bridge. Mistress Lavelan, this is the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durellion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend its use to Divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Demons are pouring from the sky, and you're worried about land claims. Haven is the Durellion's rightful property. Has Empress Helene officially acknowledged your possession of Haven? I was unaware her Imperial Majesty had conferred with the Queen of Ferelden on this matter. The Empress... has not yet had the opportunity to do so. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montillier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durellions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. His Grace was all bluster then. Even should he leave, the Marquis will share his thoughts on us upon his return to Battle Royale. Every guest we receive, and we will receive them, will spread the Inquisition's story. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. May I ask, what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done.
You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. That will help. You had granted them power over the very Fade itself. Though they sang hymns of praise unending, though they could do anything, they destroyed nothing, created nothing, loved nothing. Though you had granted them